Windows 95 turns 25 years old on this day. Most people who may have grown up with this operating system back in the olden days are probably reminiscing about the crazy launch event, the mystical startup sound they somehow haven't heard since 1999 or some Buddy Holly music video, but I've taken a much different approach. Over the past few months, I worked on a remaster of Windows 95 OSR2 that's designed with certain systems in mind which most people would rather install Windows 98 to. What is its purpose? For the most part, it's about convenience and improved functionality. You can run newer programs that may be dependent on DLL files and not available in a standard installation of Windows 95 or even 98, such as the Visual C++ and Basic 6 runtimes. Windows 95D Lite is a successor to the highly experimental Windows 95D doing away with gradient title bars while more tightly integrating many essential updates so as to have the operating system install almost as seamlessly as a vanilla Windows 95 installation. The installation CD is now bootable, saving you the trouble of creating a boot floppy outright and cutting the time it takes to reach the setup program. Very useful for computers made in 1996 and onward. You can install Windows 95D Lite the same way you would normally install Windows 9X, but you now have the option of running an easy interactive batch script that walks you through the process of partitioning and formatting the hard disk. You can elect to not run ScanDisk if desired, and you can also run an Express installation that's mostly unattended save for a few things like your name, organization, and time zone. Another convenience of Windows 95D Lite is that a selection of drivers have been integrated into the cabinet set. These drivers could fully or partially cover a Pentium 2 build of some kind, thereby reducing the effort required to install drivers so as to get up and running more quickly. This is not 100% guaranteed to work desirably. Sometimes the system may lock up during detection, which will require a hard reset and use of safe recovery if available. If your motherboard has a non-Intel chipset, it's possible that none of the new drivers will load, but in either case, if you notice something's missing, go to the device manager, select the drivers that are not working properly, remove them, then reboot, or click refresh. A bit cumbersome, but at least it requires less effort than installing every driver yourself one by one. Windows 95D Lite includes a brand new help file that appends to the existing one, which explains what it offers, provides tips on remastering Windows 9X, describes the new features of Windows 95 OSR2, and some other things. The help file does not make extensive use of the WinHelp engine, but some would say Windows 95D Lite now has more offline help documents than Windows 10. It may have not looked like it, but as Windows 95D Lite was being installed, so were many other later components. One of them that's worth noting is DirectX 7.0a, which completely replaces version 2.0a found in OSR2. You can use the diagnostic tool DXDiag to ensure your hardware works with DirectX's hardware acceleration features as well as the AGP bus. AGP support is courtesy of the extended USB supplement from Lone Crusader and Arlo. Windows 95D Lite does not fear MS-DOS as the original Windows 95 did. A number of worthwhile programs from previous versions of MS-DOS are automatically installed. They shouldn't take up that much space for the hard disk I assume you'll use. Windows 95's 32-bit capabilities and heavy backwards compatibility were always meant to go together. The Windows 95D Lite CD-ROM also includes a number of additional things that can be installed at your option. Two of them are Microsoft Plus components, being Space Cadet Pinball and a wide selection of desktop themes. The theme manager is already installed by default, but by using the Windows Setup tab in Add Remove Programs, you can also install any of 31 themes, including those from Plus, Plus for Kids, the Windows NT Resource Kit, and six other themes submitted by users in Razorback's Discord server. Other tools for advanced users are also available in various locations, including the Power Toys, some Windows NT server tools, the remote desktop client, and even an animated icon editor taken from the Windows 95 resource kit. 
This whole time, Windows 95D Lite has been running on a 2.4 GHz Celeron with an 845 chipset. It should have run into a protection error or some other hazard already, but thanks to the integrated fast CPU fix, also from Lone Crusader and Arlo, Windows 95D Lite is ready to competently run 3D games from 2002. Imagine that. Windows 95D Lite is not without its shortcomings, of course. For one, USB support is very minimal, as device drivers have to be specifically written for Windows 95, and even a generic mouse will not work natively. About all you can use is a generic mass storage device such as a USB flash drive. Furthermore, you won't get SSE optimizations and a number of programs more dependent on Windows 98 may not work at all under Windows 95. A project codenamed Red Toast aims to address these shortcomings when development begins on that later on. Using Windows 98 Second Edition as a base, it would get rid of Internet Explorer, bring back the Windows 95 shell, and integrate many other useful things on a similar scale to Windows 95D Lite. In the meantime, I hope this remaster of Windows 95 will encourage use on faster systems, as Windows 95 is actually a great option for a Pentium 2 build.